since CIG finally released their vision of Star Citizen 1.0, uh, this uh, Citizen Con, we um, we finally gotten some clarification as to um, what we can expect in terms of the gameplay. And uh, CIG did showcase tons and tons of new uh, things that we need to consider that I believe all organizations and solo players are now uh, rethinking and strategizing for. But uh, a portion of the community is concerned as to um, the level of access in terms of the game and capability of the solo player. Before we get into the topic, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for an LTI Argo Atlas. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of December. Let's get straight into it. So as I was saying, right, there is a concern uh, for the solo player and uh, Rich CIG provided a clarification in Spectrum. Okay, so it says here, a quick note to our solo players. Hey, so firstly, sorry for the slow response. I have unsurprisingly been very busy post Citizen Con with 4.0 and Q1 initiatives. Secondly, I wanted to reassure everyone that AI blades are a part of the 1.0 plan. This is really good news uh, that CIG is now considering AI blades. Finally, right? He continues to say they will not be as effective as other players and they will take additional power to run. We will also offer a way of upgrading them through tiers, but again, they will never be as good as a good player. Also, as AI blades provide most of the functionality, NPC crew will most likely be a post 1.0 plan. As I said in the presentation, Star Citizen is a universe that caters to all players and that most definitely includes solo players. As with all games, some things will be more suitable to the solo player than the group play and vice versa. With that said, I better get back to work as I have two games to ship for you all. So first and foremost, um, Rich is essentially giving a reassurance to the solo player that they will still have access to um, be able to run their multi-crew ships, right? Um, and it's understandable because Star Citizen is a game, uh, we, we support the game through pledging and in return we receive ships. So um, a lot of the most exciting ships are actually multi-crew ships and of course you're going to want to run it and uh, fly it and, and use it the way you always envision yourself using it. So which is why they're introducing things like AI Blazing and uh, NPC crew. So um, it is fair that the solo player will be concerned. So me personally, I enjoy playing solo sometimes and I also enjoy playing multi-crew. Um, I think the game is a lot better um, when you play um, as a group. And um, yeah, so I think um, it is good news that AI Blades are finally coming in. Uh, so while we're talking about AI Blades, let's just go into what uh, CIG actually have uh, put in the past pertaining to AI Blades, at least the types that uh, we can expect to see, um, but we'll have to see uh, what they um, officially um, introduce. So in an Ask Me Anything episode in 2020, it seems like CIG may be heading towards uh, missile defense systems, um, encryption, decryption blades, um, emission controller uh, blades, um, offensive e-war blades, um, defensive e-war blades, mining blades, um, salvage database, criminal database, hit lists, enhanced route navigation, trade database, shield management blades, uh, stellar charting systems, item lock blades, uh, cargo manifest masker, that's interesting, um, internal security systems for larger ships, uh, drone management blades, and um, yeah, so it looks like they have tons and tons of ideas for these blades. And I think uh, I'm really curious to see the ones that officially make it. But these look really interesting. And I think it's going to add a lot of depth into the game. Uh, just reading through some of these. Um, but um, yeah, you guys let me know your thoughts on this. Are you Do you intend to play Star Citizen solo or multi-crew or a mix of both? You guys let me know in the comments down below. Before I let you go, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm at my organization, Phase One Industries, is now recruiting new and veteran players. If you are interested, you can find our Discord in the description down below. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one.